So as part of Meet the Employee, I let them get to choose some glass that they like and I get to make a marini out of it and you get to see the process from start to finish. We will then pull that marini, we'll add it to a selection of marini they've chosen that they love as well and we'll be selling them as sort of surprise packs for the month for €12.50. It's going to be about 30 35 grams of marini in there. You will get to buy those and you know get Miller's favourite marini and that's what it'll be called, Miller Mix. <laughs> Um, and we will then, you know, the rest of the pull, which doesn't go into the mixes, will sell. And once it's sold, that will be it. We won't re-pull them. It will just be a one-off Miller, Miller's Marini for this month. Um, so, Miller, what glass have you chosen and why? Well, um, I started off with the Egyptian blue and sunflower yellow because my very first meeting with uh, Fuse Glass was uh, doing a jewelry workshop uh, in your uh, studio in Trikman, it's the very first one you open. And I did a set of earrings using powders, Egyptian blue and sunflower yellow because I found it really fascinating that there's a reaction between certain colors. So that was like, you know, the little nerd in me going, yay, there's chemistry. Um, so that's kind of like these two colors are um, because of that, and then um, as you asked me before, like no, apparently I don't have a favorite color. They're all mostly blues, and I dropped in some cream as well just to kind of uh, break it up a little bit. So I have what do I have? A true blue. I love this color. It's such a beautiful bright blue. I mean, true, you know, always a little sparkle. I love it, <laughs> and just a little bit to just brighten it up and uh, have it a little bit more uh, light. Just Oh, uh, sorry, aqua blue. <laughs> so yeah, those are my choices. That's fantastic. So I'm thinking of what we can make with this and then what kind of marini I should make with this. So Miller has chosen these, which are our basic Excel, which have got um, a bit of a ventrine in them and a really lovely sparkle, as she knows. She's chosen our licorice swirls, which I love and are very kind of underrated, but I think are fantastic. Um, uh, sun, uh, stripe of Sunset uh, flower, which is really kind of luscious and got some really lovely expensive colours in there. Um, these which are blue hyd purple hydrangeas, blue, blue hydrangeas, and of course our fantastic bluebirds. So I, because I love the idea of how these will open out when they're fully fused, I think I'm going to do something on a full fuse with this and then maybe afterwards tack fusing a little piece of something on top. So my idea for this is to make some kind of petal that can also go in that, that will open out nicely when it's full fused. So using the transparents with the opals together so you get some depth into the marini. So I'm going to start thinking about how to make that and we'll film it and we can see how it is when it's pulled. So I've got my silk mat um, uh, hole at the bottom of the pot and um, inside I've got some uh, tech to just kind of be the base layer for this to um, stack on. Now I've taken the eventually glue and I've got a couple of bits of tector and I've cut them to size so they literally will sit in the pot like that upright on their own. You do this by kind of measuring, kind of tape measure I always find is easiest and you can measure exactly the bottom and you measure the top and then you can work out your angle from that. So that's like that. Now I want to have a kind of detail running down either side. Um, and I've decided to go with cream. This piece of cream is extraordinary. I don't even get that on camera, but whoa, it's got a big old bend in it and whoa, is it horrible to cut. Um, so that was extra fun. So I'm not sure I've managed to cut all these to the right size, but um, with vitrograph, guys, you don't need to clean your glass so well, but if you've got any of the, the um, white writing on from kind of bullseye, you do need to clean that off. And if you're using metallic sharpies um, in anything, you do need to clean that off too. Um, some of these are a little bit long and I'll just using Using a sharpie, I'm just gonna just nipping them with a pair of mosaic nippers. Mm. 
I'm just gonna go like so now that's a bit wide at the bottom and big at the top. So this is sort of fitting in like that. Um, I might need to nip a tiny bit off the corner, bottom corner of that one too. So I'm not worrying about the outside edges, I just want to sort of fill up the middle. Now I'm just gonna use sellotape to stick this down. Sellotape bounces nicely. So I can just put that down, wrap it around one side, wrap it around the other side. Do the same again at the bottom. Flip it over. And I can do the same again on this side. So now I've got this sort of place in the middle. It's nicely wedged so it won't move. And I want to work out, I want to basically put uh, a piece of um, the uh, true blue here and a piece here. I'm going to use um, uh, the 1808 uh, Fritz to go here, some cream to go here, then yellow and then um, Egyptian blue at the kind of edges. So I use a bit of paper and I just fold it until I get the shape um, that I need to create the piece of um, the, the, um, the glass I had. And I thought I got this the right shape, I think I moved it slightly. Um, and so I might need to bring it in a little bit. So yeah, that's sort of the size I need to create the wedge I need. And it's probably been pretty much the same on the other side. So I'm gonna cut two pieces of true blue out of that and then we can move forward. So I've cut um, three pieces of true blue cream and sunflower yellow and I just, I'm not even that kind of accurate guys. You can see that the, some bits a bit small. It was basically what I had available and I wanted to fit it out of a sheet. Um, and then I've got some smashed up, this is the 1808 that I like, that I'm going to put some in there, I'm making sure that there's a nice gap between these two, I'm going to need a bit more, so I'll get a bit more of that in a minute. And then I've got Egyptian blue smashed up, the way I'm going to do this kind of thing, there's just a lot of powder and dust coming up. So those are going like this. And I'll fill it up to the top and then it can go in the kiln. So I pulled Miller's Marini. Um, I'm, ho I'm home, I'm in the studio alone. So I couldn't video um, that, but it's all there and ready to cut up and we can have a look at it in a minute. <laughs> 